Well, the Tillman Senior High School, it is Friday Night Basketball, and Dave, looking around here, brings back a lot of memories. This place is packed tonight, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good crowd here. And, uh... A lot of people on the other side, and the bleachers right in front of us are pretty much full. It has been a long time since we've seen this gym this full, and it's good to see. On the other hand, Sparta comes in, they've lost their last 10, but they played Toma on a home floor for Toma where we've been terrible, to be very blunt. We'll see what happens tonight. We talked about it prior to our last game, saying Sparta's coming here Friday. If we don't play well, they could win, and my thoughts haven't changed. On this floor, the way we played, anything possible. And Sparta, obviously, very hungry. They have not won day since December 20th, when they beat Viroqua. Yeah, well, they're, they're hungry. Uh, I think we're just as hungry, though. Uh, and if this big capacity, well, it's not a capacity crowd, but the biggest crowd we've had all year, hopefully that helps the team, you know, play at a different level. But I tell you, there's a lot of Sparta people here, so they're, they're going to be pretty pumped, too. So when you get to play in front of a big crowd, it just a lot of times brings out more or the best in you. They have a very young Sparta team under Coach Yankee. They start as they did up there. They start three sophomores. Bender is the best player. But they are very young, starting three sophomores. Reader, who's only a sophomore, led them up there with 13. So this is a very young Sparta team with hopefully a bright future ahead. Well, they, 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 they certainly hope so. You know, they've been down a long time. and. Uh, Every time, I mean, they've had a lot of coaching changes over the years, and every every time you bring one in, you know, you got high expectations, and they just really have never panned out. So, yeah, with a young team and some talent, that that could make all the difference. Toma coming off a win at Logan. Brady Pilger scored in the final seconds. Toma with a one-point win at Logan. Dave, we've won at Logan the last six years and eight of the last nine. And as you know, in our 38 years, that's the place we can never win. In 1993-94, they went to state. They lost at Logan, but for some reason, we lately, in the last six years, we played very well at Logan. Yeah, it's really, really strange how those things work out sometimes. But... Maybe we need to uh, get some red uh, in the gym here. Of course, that would probably help Sparta. They're red, too, so uh, we'll, we'll forget that. But, uh, yeah, whatever it is, the surroundings just seem to favor Toma when we play there right, right now. All right, Toma, just four regular season games remaining starting tonight. First time around up there, Toma won 60-46. to 46. We'll see what happens here tonight. Starting lineups next. You're watching the Higgins Sports Network. Toma Health offers comprehensive outpatient programs for patients managing cardiovascular diseases. We offer cardiac rehab, supervised exercise therapy for patients with peripheral artery disease, and a clinical exercise program. My name is Steve. I've been coming to Toma Health Cardiac Rehab for about two months. The fact that it is close to home, that's Big plus. The people here are great. I just can't say enough good about them. Toma Health offers expert cardiac rehab close to home.
All right, welcome back. Toma Senior High School Friday Night Basketball, Sparta Toma. Let's meet the starting lineup for Sparta under head coach Phil Yonke. Officials for tonight's game, Doug Krause, Preston Hemmerly, and Travis Wagner. So Toma has lost eight of nine on the home floor. Their only win at home was a buzzer beater by Jaden Brisky. Toma, six and five on the road, lost eight out of nine here. One by 14, first time around up at Sparta. Sparta comes in here, having lost their last 10. They are three and 16. Toma comes in seven and 13. Reed with the miss. Clifton rebound. Again, they start three sophomores. Reed, Dyer, and Gibson are all sophomores. Clifton knocks down the three. Three-pointer number 45 for Kleifchen. And they knock down the three with Bender. Three-three tie. Tom Hesse to the glass. Ninety-eight three-pointers. Toma has as a team now. Ninety-eight. Clifton leads the team with threes with forty-six. Hesse has twenty-two threes and Pluger has sixteen and Thornton has ten. Five-three Toma. Dave, last time on this floor we scored eleven in the first half. So far we have five and we haven't played two minutes. Yeah, that's a better start than we're used to. Clifton for three. Back to back threes for Clifton. 8 3, Tony Sparta. Clifton has a quick six. Thornton rebound. Thornton, Pluger, Hesse, Clifton again. Reminiscent of their game earlier this season up at Aquinas where Kleifchen hit his first four three-pointers. Dave, we already had 11. We have 11. That's all we had the last home game. 11-3 Toma. Kleifchen with nine points. We'll be back in 30. Toma Health is looking for passionate and committed professionals to join our team. My name is Shayla Filano. I am the staff and community outreach education specialist. I like that you can grow as an employee. I absolutely recommend Toma Health for friends and family. My name is Stevie Velasquez, and I work in nutrition service. I think we all work very well. We all treat each other with a lot of respect. Everyone very welcome here. Toma Health, together we're inspiring health, wellness, and balance. All right, timeout by Coach Yankee. Two minutes in. 
And Toma has already scored as many points in this game as he did the entire first half their last game here. This is Reed, blocked by Brisky, and we'll get a possession call. Pulger leads the team in assists with 68. Thornton leads the team in steals at 37. Thornton also leads the team in blocks with 12. And Brisky leads the team in rebounds with 125. Right behind him is Tom Hesse at 123. Well, last night, Dave, up at Sparta, we saw Lauren Noth hit six three-pointers. Clive get on a pace to maybe do that or better, right? Well, he's on that pace. He can't do much better than hit your first three. And any time that happens, you think, wow, maybe we get a school record uh, for threes in a game by one person. And, you know, it's, usually it doesn't happen, but he's got a chance. Kleifstian not afraid to shoot the three, Dave, coming into this game. Kleifstian has attempted 144 three-pointers, 144. Close, next closest to him is Hesse with 66 attempts. So Kleifstian not afraid to put it up, but we've had nights where he's struggled, haven't we? Well, he's struggled big time for the last two or three games here on the home floor especially. All right, Tomo with 11 quick points. Now can they keep it going? We've seen this team play in spurts. 11-3. Little runner for Pluger isn't going to go. Thornton put back. <laughs> 10 nothing run for Tomo after we're tied once at three. Yeah, and this is usually we're on the opposite end of this in the first first uh, part of the games and sure good to see us come out and play well right from the beginning. Great Impreski with another rebound. We played almost four minutes. Tom winning 13-3. Thornton to the glass with the mess. Gets his own rebound back. Thornton again. Answer Toma points and it's 15 to 3. Three pointer for True. So all their points have come on threes from Bender and True a moment ago. And that ends Toma's unanswered point streak at 12. 15 to 6 Toma. Reed with the rebound. 13 and a half to go in the first half. Pack Jim at the senior high. We haven't seen this in a long time. Most people we've seen here in a long, long time. This is Bender for three. Another rebound for Jaden Brisky. Nobody under the basket for Sparta. They either have very a lot of confidence in those three pointers going down because they're releasing to the other end, not even trying to rebound. Tom Hesse is going to draw a foul. Tom Hesse, a 63% free throw shooter. Toma Dave only shoots 58% at the free throw line. Hesse with 17 double figure games a season, tops on Toma, 17. He had seven in the win earlier in the week at Logan. One more for Hesse. Hesse with four and the lead back to 11. 17 6 Toma leading Sparta. Long three on the way. Is it going to go? They run it down the corner. Bender with it now. Bender, the leading scorer, averaging 16 a game. Gavin Reed averages 14 a game. He's the sophomore. Rebound Thornton. 12 and a half to go in the first half. They're coming off a loss to Aquinas. Day of the game, they actually led Aquinas by five at the half, but then Aquinas just kind of took over in the second half. 
11 point lead for Toma. Here with a break, here's look at some businesses bringing you tonight's game. Please thank and patronize them. thank and patronize those businesses we just showed you a moment ago bring it all to the events on the network tonight it's mvc basketball tom hesse for two hesse with six clashton with nine he had three threes to start the game and told with a 13 point lead on sparta Sparta averaging 54 points a game. Dave, they are giving it up though at 73 points a game. 11 times or more this season, the opponent has scored 70 or more against Sparta. Tomo only averaging 51 a game, giving it up at 63. Bender to the glass. And Dave on the home floor though, we're only averaging 45 points a game on this floor. Yeah, that's. I think we were averaging 38 for like the last four, so looks like tonight it's going to be a different story, though, and if we can keep it going. So all these points we're hitting, we need these points because you know uh, this team is prone to going into long droughts, four and five minute droughts. So far, we can honestly say, Dave, this is the best start we have seen on this home floor for Toma. Now, keep in mind, we still have 12 minutes to go, so a lot of basketball yet to be played. But at this point, the best we have seen this season, correct? Oh, by far, yes. 21 to 8, Toma. Bender to the glass again, partially blocked. Looked like clashed in that time. This is Reed. Reed has it knocked away. Turnover, Sparta. Pluger in the corner. Pluger down the Clashian. Back to Hesse. He's going to draw a foul. Bruce Raisin also in the game now for Tillman. Now you see Raisin there, number 20. He's a sophomore. So Toma, Sparta tonight. It's Tuesday, Toma will be at Alaska. They beat us by 45 the first time. Then a week from tonight, Aquinas is here. And then Toma will wrap up the season with a Monday night game at Wisconsin Rapids. Hoping to pick up 10 wins this season. Shot wouldn't go for Schendel. 22 to 8, Toma. Hesse to the glass. Tom Hesse feeling it, isn't he? Yeah, one of many, I think, so far feeling it. You know, you talk about out Alaska, they might be, they might be a little riled up too after they lost that big game to uh, West Salem. Well, I was told, Dave, not being at that game, 
I was told that Stutley, their outstanding sophomore for Alaska, played but was not 100%. But give credit to West Salem, who won handily. We'll take a break. It's been all Toma so far. Back in 30. Toma Health offers comprehensive outpatient programs for patients managing cardiovascular diseases. We offer cardiac rehab, supervised exercise therapy for patients with peripheral artery disease, and a clinical exercise program. My name is Steve. I've been coming to Toma Health Cardiac Rehab for about two months. The fact that it is close to home, that's a big plus. The people here are great. I just can't say enough good about them. Toma Health offers expert cardiac rehab close to home. Well, at one time, Dave, this game was tied at three. Since then, Toma on a 21 to five run. 21 to five run for Toma. Yeah, and they're, they're pouring it on here. And like we said, we need every point we can get for separation because things uh, can turn in a hurry. Not saying they will. Eight guns on the inbound. Reed, who had 13 up there to lead them. How about a true? 10 to go in the half. Back down to Reed, working in the paint is the big man. And the rebound to Brock. 10 to go in the half. Kruger has it blocked by Rice. John Rice with the block. Yeah, getting back to that Alaska game, Dave, our next game this Tuesday in Anna. We lost them by 45 here. Sparta, last time they played Anna, lost by 61. Yeah. 98 to 37, they lost to Anna. Toma got off to a great start. 24 point first half already. Last time on this floor, they scored 11 in the first half. Totally different team. And that's why it's frustrating, Dave, that we have the record that we have because we have that record that we have because we just have not played well on this floor but a totally different Toma team tonight. Long three for Shendo. 26-11. Cougar to the glass. Brady Pluger, Thomas Vest free throw shooter at 70%. Brady had a career high 20 and the Toma went up there. Brady 10 double figure games. Pluger yet to score. Yeah, Dave, you look at our record, and we have lost on this floor to some teams that, very honestly, we should not have. One more for Pluger. Toma five out of five at the free throw line, and lead 28-11. Where has this team been all season at home? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a lot to do with the opponent. I don't know. We, we haven't defended the paint well all year. This is pretty well documented, but I, I think Sparta is having the same problem. Toma having no problem getting to the rim in this game so far. 28-11 to 11, Toma, just under nine to go in the half. Bender. Rebound Brisky. Out of the Kleifian. Kleifian had nine early on three threes. He hasn't taken a shot since then. Yeah. 
Thornton, Brisky. Jaden Brisky, over to Hesse. Brock to Thornton, eight to go in the half. Thornton pulling up. Thornton with six. Hesse with 11, lead everybody. Hesse with 11. Kleifchen has nine. Thornton with six. And Brock with a basket. 30 to 11, Toma. Pierce in the game. Yeah, Toma going a little deeper than most games at this point of the this point of the game as well. Three is short for Bender. Deep rebound, Thornton. Keep in mind, Dave, as I said earlier, on this floor, this is our 10th home game, our 10th home game. In our prior nine, we only averaged 45 points a game on this floor. We scored 42 points in our win against Arcadia. Scored 33 against Anna and 32 against Central. So 30 in the first half is something we have not seen hardly at all this season on the home floor. We've been much better on the road. Winning at Logan for the sixth straight year earlier in the week. Thornton for three. Kept alive to Thornton. Brock with it now. And we're gonna get a possession call. Sparta, for the record, has lost their last 20 games in the MDC, 20 straight. Toma has beat them the last eight times. Up there, Pluger at 20, Hesse at 15, Kleifchen at 12. Reed at 13 for them, as we said earlier, and Bender had 10 for them. This is Bender. Bender Dave with seven of their 11. Another put back by Bender. Bender has nine of their 13. He came in averaging 16. Did Layden Bender, the senior. So they cut it to 15 on a couple of quick baskets. Runner for Clyde is going to go and read with the rebound. Little more than six to go in the half. It really don't feel easy, Dave. Even with a 15-point lead, we've had a much bigger lead than that, but it's 15 right now, but you don't really feel that comfortable because we have seen this team go in the long dry spells, haven't we? Oh, yes, we have. And last couple of times down, had an air ball three-pointer by Kleifshin and then uh, kind of a, a wild shot trying to get inside. So got to remember to take good percentage shots, work the ball. Not, you know, not take unnecessary shots, wild shots, whatever you want to call them. Dyer with the miss a moment ago for them. They have, they have three games. Sparta has three more games remaining after tonight like Toma does. They have Central and Holman at home, and they wrap up their season at Logan. Turnover Sparta. Kleifchen draws a foul. Life in a 50% free throw shooter. Toma led at one time 24 to 8. They lead 30 to 15 now. Life in with 10. That is his. 13th double figure game the scenes from Clash in his 13th double figure game. This is the second one. 31 to 15, Toma by 16. Oh, 
Thor don't sit down. Thor at 13. Lee Toma in the win earlier in the week up at Logan. Five and a half to go in the first half. Toma with a 16 point lead on Sparta. Bender has nine to lead them. Hesse with 11 for Toma, Kleifchen with 10. So Hefty, Hesse and Kleifchen have 21 and Toma 31. Reed hands it off to Bender. Bender to Gibson. Reed had it, lost it, and go to Toma. Five to go in the half. 31 15, Toma being Sparta. Pilger for three. Brady Pulger with his 17th three-pointer. And Toma by 19. They had it down to 15, Dave, now it's back to 19. Uh, frustration foul right there. Had that ball knocked away from him and thought he could swipe at it and get it right back, but not, uh, not a very good decision. That's his third foul. That's why. Yeah, and that's big. Bender, the leading scorer. Right now, Bender has nine points, and he's on the bench for Sparta. Pluger back to the free throw line. Twenty point lead for Toma, 35-15. One more for Brady. And we're getting a timeout. So Toma, which has struggled on the floor big time all season, looking like a totally different team tonight. Huge lead on Sparta back in 30. Toma Health is looking for passionate and committed professionals to join our team. My name is Sheila Filano. I am the staff and community outreach education specialist. I like that you can grow as an employee. I absolutely recommend Toma Health for friends and family. My name is Stevie Velasquez, and I work in nutrition service. I think we all work very well. We all treat each other with a lot of respect. Everyone very welcome here. Toma Health, together we're inspiring health, wellness, and balance. All right, 4.46 to go in the half. Toma with a 21 point lead on Sparta, 36 to 15. Toma eight out of 10 at the free throw line so far, eight out of 10. Bender the leading scorer on the bench now with three fouls for Sparta's Landon Bender. Sparta trying to avoid their 10th, or excuse me, their 11th straight loss. They've lost their last 10. Haven't won since December 20th when they beat Viroqua. And now how will Sparta just stay without their leading scorer, Bender, who had nine of their 15. Boy, it is really nice to see this gym packed. 
full on the other side and in front of us. A lot of people here tonight. Three pointer for Geyer. Geyer, one of their three sophomores that starts for them. And it's 36 18. So, Dave, 12 of their 18 have come from behind the arc. 12 out of 18. Yeah, they have uh, done a decent job and taken uh, when there's wide open three pointers, usually they're pulling the trigger. And it's, it's paid off pretty good here for them. Hesse now with 12. Tome with a chance to go back up by 20, and they will not. 19 point lead for Toma. Just under four to go in the first half. Geyer with five feet on him. True on the way. That's true. Braden True with his second three of the game. And the lead down to 16. And you wonder, Dave, how long they're going to be able to continue to knock down threes, but that's been their offense so far. 15 of the 21 behind the arc. Yeah, like I said, they're doing a very good job there, and their defense is good. Uh, this zone, we're not getting to the basket. They're cutting us off, uh, finding it harder to get against that zone, any penetration. They nearly turn it over, Shandle on the floor, but they get it back. Go out of the guns, Nate Guns with the miss. Brisky with another rebound. Under three to go in the half, Toma still by 16. Toma at 36 to 15 at one time. So they're on a nice little run to get it down to 16. Keep in mind, Toma's last home game on this floor against Holman, they scored 11 points the whole first half. And that happened about two minutes to go in the half. How much for the game? Because we're probably approaching what we scored for the game. Yeah, we have 39, 39 total in that game, and this would be the 39th point if Hesse can make it here, but he doesn't. Hesse in the game with 13. Kleifshin with 10. Kleifshin hit three three points early to really, really get the ball rolling, didn't he, Dave? Early it was Tyler Kleifshin, three quick threes, and we've never looked back, have we? No, we have not. Geyer's going to draw a foul on Kleifshin. Toma's next game again this Tuesday at Alaska. Then a week from tonight, Aquinas will be here. And then they'll wrap it up the following Monday at Wisconsin Rapids. <laughs> Jeff Prisky hoping, Dave, to get a home game, but time will tell. Second free throw is good for Geyer. He has four. Two to go in the half. Toma by 16. I've led by more than 20 at one time. That 36 to 15 at one time. We're getting possession call here. So Toma is one point away from tying what they scored their whole last game on this floor against Holman. When they lost 60 to 39. Reed from the outside. And they continue to knock down threes. 38-25 Toma.
Essie gets it back. And we're gonna get another possession call. Six three-pointers to them. Toma has four threes. Don't look now, Dave. They, they've cut the lead down to 13. They're not going to go away. They're just not going to quit. They're, they're the team with nothing to lose, and they're playing like it. Reed, and again, Bender, their leading scorer, is on the bench. And they knock down a three with Shendo. Their seventh three-pointer of the half. And with a minute to go in the half, the lead is down to 10 with Bender, their leading scorer, on the bench. <laughs> yeah, their leading scorer. Watching it and liking it. I'm sure everybody over there is. Well, we said earlier, big leads don't mean anything because Toma point-wise can come and go in this game. Half minutes to go in the half. They trailed by over 20 not that long ago. They cut it to 10. Puger with a miss. Sparta rebound for the chance, believe it or not, to get it under 10. True with it for Sparta. True drops it off on the right side. They get it down to Reed. Reed working on Brisky rims out for Reed. And that is going to be your half. But give credit to Sparta. They were down by over 20 not that long ago. They've cut it down to 10 at the half. You're watching the Hagen Sports Network. Welcome back, Toma Senior High School. Greg Hale with Dave Wagner. Dave, they made a, they finished the half Sparta on a 13 to two run. They get the lead down to 10, that 13 to two run came with their leading scorer, Bender, on the bench. Yeah, I think Toma has to regroup a little bit there. Obviously, uh, they came out like gangbusters and controlled, uh, really, except for those last about four minutes, they controlled the whole first half. But they lost a lot of ground and uh, let Sparta back into this ball game. And you got a, a team with nothing to lose with the momentum. That could be trouble. Three seconds. They had eight three-pointers in the first half, eight. Bender led them with nine, Chendel at six, True at six, Geyer with four, Reed with three. Give the Thomas scoring in a moment. Geyer from the outside. And don't look now, they're on a 16 to two run, and the lead is down to seven. It was 21. Yeah, they're just red hot from the on the yard. Tom Hesse. Hesse leads Choma with 15. Lead is back to nine.
Today, can they stay hot all night from behind the three? So far they have. Reed with the miss. Hesse with the rebound. Nine three-pointers for Sparta. Kleifshin for three. Tyler had three three-pointers quickly in this game to start. Got him off to a quick lead. True from the outside. Ten three-pointers for Sparta. And the lead is down to six. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cool I know. Cool they got to cool off sooner later. Brady Pluger with the miss. Presty misses the putback. Yeah, at one time, Toma led 36 to 15. They've outscored Toma 19 to 4 since then. And have cut the lead down to six. And they made a 13 to 2 run to end the half. Well, as we said earlier, Bender, the leading scorer on the bench. Tom Hesse, two more. Hesse with 17, and the lead is at eight for Toma. Well, Hesse's come back and uh, made a couple. Another three. That's Bender. We try to get him. He's got three fouls. <laughs> better, better try to get some more fouls on these guys. Lead is five. It was 21 late in the half. Well, we said early, Dave, when we were up by 15 points or more, don't take anything for granted because of this team going in spurts. Brisky has his shot blocked. Gibson wanted a foul, but got none. We have 10 three-pointers. Bender misses one. Have it down to five right now. Twenty-two to six run for Sparta. Twenty-two to six. They cut it down to five. Fifteen to go. Thornton to the glass. May come out with the rebound, Gibson rebound. Geyer with the miss. Hesse. Kleifchen. That's a foul on Kleifchen. First ask going for Toma. Hesse at 13, Pluger had seven. Third with six, Kleifchen with 10. And Brock had two. Sparta down by five. After chilling by over 20 at one time. Reed loses it. Pluger. Thornton looking at a three point play. Thornton in the game with eight. Make it nine. And the lead back to eight. It was five. Three point play from Thornton. 14 to go. Geyer. 
Reed has it knocked away. Hesse the other way. And Hesse has it knocked away. And then it goes off the face of Geyer. Toma by eight. Led by 10 at halftime. Led by over 20 at one time in the first half. Pfeifchen for three. Thornton keeps it alive. Through the hands of Pfeifchen, turn to Toma. Thirteen and a half to go, Dave. Eight point lead for Toma. They had it down to five a moment ago. Yeah, then we got three the old fashioned way. Pfeiffer missed a wide open three, and that's how he can be. He hit those first three, he's missed his last three. Shandle with it for Sparta. Shandle the bender. Sparta trying to end a 10 game losing streak on the season and an eight game losing streak, trying to end an eight game losing streak against Toma. Tell you what, David, one time we were up by 21 and a lot of people maybe thought this game was over, but again, we're playing on our home floor, anything's possible. Yeah, bad things seem to happen a lot here, right? But I think Toma's gonna hang on. Reed with the miss. Reed gets the put back. Blocked by Toma. Reed wanted a foul, didn't get one. Thornton's gonna draw a foul right here is Thornton. Thornton in the game with nine. Lead still at eight. One more for Thornton. And he has 10. Ten points for Thornton. Lead is nine. Another shot that rims out for them. Double figure game, it's an early double figure game. Number nine for Thornton is ninth double figure game. So Hesse in double figures for the 18th time. Kleifchen in double figures for the 13th time. And now Thornton in double figures for the ninth time. 12 plus to go. Toma by nine. It was five not that long ago. Thornton to the glass with the miss. Bender the other way. And Bender is gonna go to the free throw line. Bender in the game with 12. They have 10 three-pointers of Sparta, 10. <laughs> 13 for Bender. Came in averaging 16 at Bender. Doesn't get the second one. But he's gonna get another shot at it. Hesse with a lane, Hesse with a lane violation there. Yeah. So Layden and Bender's gonna get another shot at it here. And makes Toma pay. 
Lead is seven. Wow. See, Hesse just got shoved as he was heading out of bounds to inbound the ball. Got a big shove in the back right in front of the official. He said something to him, too. No call of any kind. Brady Pilger with a miss. Under 12 to go. Toma lead at seven after leading by over 20 in the first half. Sparta not going away. You knew they were not going to go away. Brady Pilger the other way. Brady Pluger, who leads the team in steals, with another one a moment ago. And now a technical foul on who? Jeff Presky, I believe. I believe it was on Sparta. But I'm not exactly sure who. All right. Jeff I was watching Jeff off camera. He didn't look too happy. So I thought we're going to talk about it here. Could have been on Toma on that. Uh, with that celebration after the, the uh, layup. So I, I'm not sure. I just know he whistled the tee. We're going to find out in a moment here. There's some talking to Jeff Brisky. Yep. Bender at the free throw line. Lead is still eight. Bender with 15. Came in averaging 16. Hesse leading everybody in scoring. Hesse has 17. Thornton with 10. And Kleistreet also has 10. Eight point lead for Toma, 11 and a half to go. Well, you can see what happens when they get a non-call right from the official on the show. Things get a little chippy after that, and Toma is the one paying the price. Reed from the outside. Bessie rebound. 11 to go. Toma still by eight. Kleistian for three. Couldn't miss early, but he can't buy one lately. True to Bender, and Bender fouled. Foul on Brisky. Pretty good Sparta student body crowd here tonight. A lot of Sparta people on our side to our right. It's most people we have seen in this gym in a long, long time, and it's good to see. They're trying to say some kind of goaltending or something after that, which is absurd. That's what Coach Yankee wanted to look like when I was watching him. All right, Bender the line. Lead is seven. Nagel checks in for them. One more for Bender. Bender with 17, and the lead down to six. It was five, and then Toma upped it to eight. Now it's six. Pilger to the glass. Brady with 11, and Toma by eight. Eleven double-figure game for Brady. Today we have four guys in double figures. 
Hesse, Pluger, Thornton, Kleifkin all in double figures. Well, that's one good thing. We've got some good even scoring and get a lot of guys involved. And here's Pluger again. Brady with a miss. That's what we had up there. We had four guys in double figures. We went up there by 14. This is Nagel. 10 to go. Tomo by eight. Sparta had it down to five earlier in the half. Sparta closes the half on a 13 to two run. They cut the lead to 10, had it down to five. Now it's eight. Plenty of time to go in this one, Dave, just under 10. Oh yeah, anything can happen yet. Plus overtime, I'm guessing. Brady Pluger's gonna draw a foul. the game with 12. One more for Pluger. Makes them both. 13 for Brady. Nine and a half to go. Toma lead at 10. Let's look at some businesses and organizations bringing you tonight's game. Please thank and patronize them. and patronize those businesses and organizations you showed you a moment ago. Nine and a half to go. Friday Night Basketball. Greg hang along with Dave Wagner. Where the gym is very packed tonight. And again, fun atmosphere. Big crowd. Good game. Student body here for both schools. The way it should be. Homer by 10. Brady Pluger brings it down. Kleifjian, Hesse, and away from the ball, a foul. Thomas' next game is coming Tuesday at Alaska. A week from tonight, O'Quine is here. And then Thomas the following Monday at Rapids to wrap up the season. Well, Dave, early in this half, it was Tom Hesse offensively, and lately it's been Brady Pluger, hasn't it? Kleistian for three. That's the fourth three of the night for Tyler. He had three, you may recall, Dave, very early in this game. It was good to see him get that one, boy. I wanted to come out. I think it did, but then it dropped back in. Oh. 
Kleifchen right now, by the way, has 49 three-pointers, 49. School record is 67 threes in a season by Andy Barth. So he's still got a ways to go to get there. 49 threes for Kleifchen right now. Kluger again on the penetration, lost that one out of bounds, but I think it's good. They're, they're trying to get back to the rim and trying to get some fouls called. Sparta was in pretty good foul trouble in that first half, and we kind of uh, let them off the hook here in the second, but now we're concentrating, I think, and trying to pick up some fouls. This is Reed, the sophomore. Reed with five. Lead is 11, Thornton to the glass. Thornton with 12, lead back to 13. Geyer, Reed again, he'll have to earn it at the line. Reed at the free throw line. Sparta's next three games, they have three remaining. They have Central and Holman at home, and then they wrap it up at Logan. One more for Reed. This is the second one. Brisky with the rebound. Toma leads still at 12. Seven and a half to go. Toma with a 12 point lead on Sparta. At one time this half, they did get it down to five. Brady Pilger. Matt Burner at the free throw line. Dyer picks up his fourth foul. Guns already has four, although he hasn't been a big factor. Brady with 13 in the game, still with 13 in the game. Put back by Brisky, or is it Brock? Brisky, Brock with the put back. Yep, we're gonna give it to Brock. Brock has four, lead is 14. That wags with 15 minutes to go in the game. It was 42 to 37, Toma by five. Toma on an 18 to eight runs since then. Make it 18 to nine right now, Guy at the line. Yeah, they've taken uh, control again. Sparta has cooled off. They haven't been able to get, get off as many threes either. And uh, Toma, again, changing tactics, getting to the basket, get, getting to the rim. Yeah, Sparta had eight three-pointers in the first half, eight. They have two here in the second half. Clive Jim Short. Six and a half to go. Actually, 6.50 to go, just under seven. Gibson back in for them. Keep in mind, the Sparta team gives it up at 73 points a game. Toma at 60 right now. It's seven to go. Wow. 
Torbatoma. Bender the other way. There was some contact, and Bender looking for the foul, and there'll be none. Well, Bender should have got called for the offensive foul. Clayson was there for a while, and it wasn't, it was kind of a glancing blow, but it was still enough to knock him down. Bender from the outside misses the three. Thornton with the rebound with a little more than six to go. Toma still by 13. Clive shooting the glass. Clive shooting with 15. Reed. So Dave Toma on a on a 20 to 10 run, 20 to 10 run since they cut the lead to five almost 10 minutes ago. Yeah, Sparta's had some really good looks inside that have just rimmed out in this game. And one would have been a three point play, but you know, Thomas suffered the same fate many times. Yeah, they've had a lot of them rim out. It's Clifton for three and that rims out. Geyer runs in the Clifton. Going to call an offensive foul. The interesting part about that, Dave, it was the official on the very far end to our left that made that call. Yeah, I mean, maybe a makeup call? Not sure. Because they definitely missed one uh, earlier there, but uh, I was following the ball, didn't really see the contact on that one. Tom leading by 15 points. Twenty to ten run for Toma since they cut the lead to five. Four players in double figures tonight for Toma. Hesse, Pluger, Thornton, Kleif, you all in double figures. Bender leads them. He has 17. Oh, he hasn't scored in a while as Bender. Brady Pluger with the miss. Brock to the floor. Brady gets it back. And now what are we going to get? Time out for Jeff Brisky. <laughs> All right. 5.05 to go. Toma. By 15, we'll take a break back in 30. Toma Health offers comprehensive outpatient programs for patients managing cardiovascular diseases. We offer cardiac rehab, supervised exercise therapy for patients with peripheral artery disease, and a clinical exercise program. My name is Steve. I've been coming to Toma Health Cardiac Rehab for about two months. The fact that it is close to home, that's Big plus. The people here are great. I just can't say enough good about them. Toma Health offers expert cardiac rehab close to home. All right, welcome back. 5.05 to go in the game. Toma with a 15-point lead on Sparta. 20 to 10 run for Toma since they cut the lead down to five earlier this half. They trailed by over 20 in the first half, went on a 13 to two run to end the first half without their leading score, Bender. Gibson the other way, turnover Sparta. Tom Hesse. That's Gibson. That's their 11th three of the game, Dave, but their first three in a long time. Yeah, it was. They haven't had a lot of opportunities. And there he was wide open and was able to measure it. Lead is 14. Four to go. Brock. Hesse. Rebound Sparta. Well, the Spartan have one more last run in them, we'll see. Down by 14, but four to go. Reed. 
like this kid Reed for them, Dave. Reed is only a sophomore. He's going to be a nice player. Yeah, he will be, and he's already now pretty decent. So, again, Sparta's got some good young talent here, and it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens here as they grow the next couple years. Boy, Brock would like to have that one back. Toma looking for the eighth one of the season. And Sparta trying to avoid their 11th straight loss and their ninth straight loss to Toma. Give credit to Sparta, Dave, with a 10-game losing streak coming in. They've, they've left nothing on the floor, have they? No, they have not. They, they play hard, and it's hard to believe they've had that big of a losing streak. But then again, tough conference. Tom Hesse. That's 21 for Hesse. That ties his career high. He had 21 against GET, so Hesse has tied his career high. And we're going to get a timeout. Toma comfortably on top. We'll be back in 30. Toma Health is looking for passionate and committed professionals to join our team. My name is Shayla Filano. I am the staff and community outreach education specialist. I like that you can grow as an employee. I absolutely recommend Toma Health for friends and family. My name is Stevie Velasquez, and I work in nutrition service. I think we all work very well. We all treat each other with a lot of respect. Everyone very welcome here. Toma Health, together we're inspiring health, wellness, and balance. All right, welcome back. Toma Senior High School, Friday Night Basketball. Greg Hay along with Dave Wagner. 66-40-52 Toma by 14. We're under three to go in the, ha in the game now. Basket by Gibson. Lead is 12. End line violation, Toma. Five second call, excuse me. Two and a half to go. True on the inbound. True to Reed. Bender from the outside and a whistle. I guess the foul here on Toma, right? Pushing foul. They're going to be at the free throw line. Higher at the free throw line. One more for Heiler. Could cut it down to 10. Two and a half still to go. He will. So the lead is 10. With two plus still to go. Eight fouls incidentally on Toma. They've committed six. Clive on the free throw line. At the moment, 21 for Hesse, 14 for Pluger, 12 for Thornton, and 15 for Clive <laughs> 16 for Tyler. Makes them both. 17 for Clifion. Lead again at 12 for Toma. 
Little more than two to go. Bender, travel on Bender. Little more than two minutes to go. Toma would appear to be on their way to win at home. Kleifjian on the other end. 19 for Kleifjian. They came in giving it up at 73 points a game. Toma has 70. This is the 12th game, 12th time this season. Sparta's allowed more, 70 or more. Well, they live up to their billing um, defensively. Not sure Toma will be the team to take advantage of it with what we average offensively, but we've gotten there. Yeah, this is a Toma team. That averages right now 45 points a game on this floor. So they are 25 points above what they normally score on this floor. Both free throws good for Gibson. Lead is 12 with under two to go. in the corner to Kleifian. Tom Hesse. That's a new career high for Tom. 23. Reed from the outside. Seventy-two to sixty-one. To Tom Hesse with a career high, new career high. 21 had been his career high against GET. Well, you knew, as we talked about early in the season, Dave, Dusty DeRusso gone. Tom Hesse was the big piece of the puzzle coming back. And the young man with 18 double figure games is not disappointed, has he? No, he has not. He's been that leader all year long. Kruger misses the free throw. Thomas still by 11. Here's Hesse, the glass for two more. 25 for Hesse. David, one time this was a five point game. Since then, we've outscored them 32 to 15. Hesse with 26. Nice night for that young man. Five minutes and three, we'll take a break. We'll be back in 30. Toma Health offers comprehensive outpatient programs for patients managing cardiovascular diseases. We offer cardiac rehab, supervised exercise therapy for patients with peripheral artery disease, and a clinical exercise program. My name's Steve. I've been coming to Toma Health Cardiac Rehab for about two months. The fact that it is close to home, that's a big plus. The people here are great. I just can't say enough good about them. Toma Health offers expert cardiac rehab close to home. A little more than a minute to go. Toma leading Sparta 75 to 61. Yeah. 
Bender to the glass has a block. Pilgrim with a Potoma. And we're going to have a foul coming up. For the record, Dave, as we play our 10th home game, for the record, the most points we had scored on this floor prior to tonight, 58 in the loss to Logan, so we've surpassed that by plenty, haven't we? But again, as you said earlier, this is a Sparta team giving it up at 73 points a game. Yeah, a little combination of both. Uh, great, great night offensively, and... Uh, Again, we're playing Sparta, who has a tendency to give up those points. So, probably played a little a bit of a part. Gibson get one more. Makes them both. 12-point lead for Toma. Gibson again. 10-point lead for Toma. 50 to go. Cassie kicks it. Picked up by Sparta. Their backcourt press has caused Toma some problems. It's got Sparta two or three easy baskets here lately. To Tom Hesse with a career high 26 points. New career high. Bender, three ball good for Gibson. And the lead is 75-68. With a half minute remaining, we'll be back in 30. Toma Health is looking for passionate and committed professionals to join our team. My name is Shayla Filano. I am the staff and community outreach education specialist. I like that you can grow as an employee. I absolutely recommend Toma Health for friends and family. My name is Stevie Velasquez and I work in nutrition service. I think we all work very well. We all treat each other with a lot of respect. Everyone very welcome here. Toma Health, together we're inspiring health, wellness, and balance. That's huge for Toma. You're preventing them coming back all the way. You'll see a lot of free throw shot here in the last half minute. So Toma's gonna go to eight and thirteen with the win. Eight and thirteen. They'll go to two and eight on the home floor. Sparta will lose their eleventh in a row. And they will go to three and seventeen with their next game Dave against Central. That'll be a tough, tough duty. Yes, he misses both free throws. Then he takes it away. And you're right, Dave, I think we're gonna get some free throws down the road here, aren't we? Yeah, that's the only way they really have a chance. Don't give up the easy basket inside, make a hard foul, make them earn it at the free throw line. Well, they very quietly have cut it down to seven. 75-68, Thornton at the line. Thirteen for Thornton. Fourteen for Thornton. Even though Hesse missed uh, his two free throws, his steal was huge. Yes, I totally agree. Possessions are everything for Sparta right now. Twenty seconds to go. So Toma will beat Sparta for the ninth straight time. And Swire will lose their 21st straight game in the NBC. Kruger at the line. Brady with 16. Seventy-eight, sixty-eight, under twenty to go. Clifton's going to go to the free throw line with eight point two to go.
Clive Shannon with 19 in the game. <laughs> 20 for Clive Shannon as Thornton checks out. So Clive Shin with 20. That's going to be the ball game. 79-68, your final. Murray's on main. Scoreboard coming up. Stay with us.